Hi, I'm Amy and welcome to my channel. Everyone knows you can find almost anything on Amazon and this holds true even when looking for things to help manage melasma. In this video, I'm going to talk about five purchases I've made from Amazon. I will link everything below. They are all things for the face to help create shade or provide physical coverage from the sun. To minimize the number one trigger for melasma, sun exposure, because wearing sunscreen alone is not enough. First, I want to thank my subscribers and encourage anyone interested in a channel dedicated to topics related to melasma to please subscribe. And now, it's time to do a little shopping on Amazon. Avoiding harmful UVA and UVB rays and minimizing sun exposure are, of course, key to keeping the pigment of your melasma patches from darkening and for maximizing the benefits of your skincare efforts. Now, there are times during the day when finding shade is not always an option. So I thought it would be helpful to share the things available on Amazon that I found to help create shade or physical coverage for the face when outdoors, especially as we head into summer. Now wearing or using some of my recommendations may feel a little awkward, but for me, the awkwardness is nothing compared to the awful feeling experienced when melasma patches darken even more from being out in the sun. So I'm starting with the big guns. Number one is a full face sunblocking shield. Check this out. So a while back, I was in line at a gas station and I watched a woman ahead of me wearing a face shield like this one. I was tempted to ask her about it and I thought she was just uh, avoiding the sun due to some sort of recent dermatology or plastic surgery procedure. But regardless, she was taking care of business. The business of making sure her face stayed out of the sun. And I have to admit, I was a little envious, which led me to an Amazon search. Now, I do not wear this for everyday errands and activities, but it is in my arsenal of sun protection for when I want to get out and participate in an activity that involves being an unforgiving extended sun exposure while staying hands-free and allowing for a clear view. Now this allows for good ventilation, unlike some face coverings. It has a UPF rating of 50 plus and blocks 99.9% .9 of the sun's UV rays. And it's like wearing one big sunglass lens, reducing visible light. Now the angle of the visor is adjustable. The headband is cotton lined, so it's comfortable. And there is an adjustable Velcro strap to create the right fit. But if it, this is too much in terms of just being too darn awkward, I have a few more options. Which leads me to number two, an option that is more practical for every day, a sun visor. Now I am all about the big hat and I love the one from Coolie Bar that I talked about in a previous video, but sometimes what I prefer is just a visor. Now depending on what I'm doing outside, a visor can be more convenient and a visor usually allows me to stay cooler than a hat. Now I recommend this one because it meets many of my must-have features. It's black so it will absorb the sun's UV rays. This one is 100% cotton, which makes it comfortable. It's UPF 50 plus. Now polyester is the ideal fabric for sun protection because it tends to have a tight weave, but with this visor, the brim is a solid piece covered by the fabric. So there's no sun getting through it, no matter what the fabric. And the best feature here is that it has an extra large brim, twice the size of a standard visor. This one measures 10 inches wide and has a five and a half inch brim. Now there is an adjustable Velcro strap so you can adjust it for a good fit. And this one does come with a removable chin strap, which I don't use, but it would be handy if it's windy. And it packs easily because it can be rolled up. The next item, number three, is also a visor, but one for your car. Now, I mentioned this item in a video I posted that I had so much fun shooting about vehicle UV window tinting. Now, this is the polarized car visor extender. It attaches to the car visor and provides extra shade to your face. Now, this is an anti-glare visor made from high quality polarized film, and it blocks harmful UVA and UVB, UVB rays. It measures 14 inches by three and a quarter inches. 
Now, does this provide shade to 100% of my face while I'm driving? No, but it definitely increases the positioning power of the standard car visor. Another way to create shade is number four, open an umbrella. If you are going to be out in the exposed sun for some time, like at your kid's soccer game or walking on the beach, an umbrella is a good choice. Now, many golfers use them and have them attached to their golf cart bag. Now, I have tried various compact umbrellas, but the benefits really end there. Yes, the extra small compact size is convenient for slipping into a small bag or even your pocket, but I found that the opening and closing mechanisms are not good quality and they break easily. So I recommend this umbrella. Obviously, this one is black, but check out all the other options available on the Amazon link. It does come in many colors on the outer portion, and there are also some with fun designs on the inside portion. Now, this one is about 11 inches long with a 39 inch open diameter and weighs less than a pound. Now, it has an auto open and close button here and the specs include UPF 50 plus it blocks 99% of the sun's UV rays and it's made of a specially treated solar tech fabric that not only reflects most of the UV rays but also helps to keep you cool oh and it's water repellent you know if you want to use the umbrella for rain. So I have to share I was walking around the quaint town of Bar Harbor Maine a couple of summers ago and a little girl probably around four years old, passed me with her dad, and as they passed, I could hear her say, Daddy, why does that lady have an umbrella? It's not raining. It was really cute. The last Amazon purchase is number five, a UPF fabric face mask. Now there are many gaiters and bandana style face coverings available on Amazon and I was looking for a gaiter with loops for the ears because tr the traditional ones tend to slip down on the face. Well, trust me when I tell you, I tried more than a few and the main problems I ran into were the fabric quality and sun protection claims. Buyer beware. Many claim to provide sun protection, but the fabrics were very thin and when held up to light, I could easily see through the fabric, which means the weave is not tight enough to effectively block the rays. Now polyester is a good option because of the tight weave as I mentioned, but even the polyester ones I tried were too thin. So I finally went with the brand I trust, Cooley Bar. I discovered it, it's also available on Amazon. So I will list the links for both Amazon and Cooley Bar for this item. Now when looking at their products, I chose this face mask over the common gator. It comes in this cute little zippered pouch. Now as I said, I trust Cooley Bar. This one is made of a polyester spandex blend. It's UPF 50 plus and it blocks 98% of UVA UVB radiation. It is machine washable and tumble dry and the sun protection does not wash out. I chose a dark color because studies show that dark colors provide the best UV protection. Now compared to the tube style gator, this style of face covering allows for a loose fit on the face uh, for better ventilation so you can avoid becoming too warm when wearing it. Now I'll slip it on here so that you can see how it looks. You can see that it has the loops for the ears. It is a lightweight breathable fabric and Cooley Bar describes this fabric as moisture wicking and prevents irritation against the skin. I like the length uh, because it allows for uh, protection from reflective UV rays. Now two highly reflective surfaces as you know are water and snow, but did you know that on a sunny day water can reflect as much as 30% of UV radiation and clean fresh snow up to 90%? So this is super handy to have if you are concerned about reflective surfaces. So another thing I like about wearing this type of face covering is that you can throw on a baseball cap and you'll have your forehead protected too. And I mentioned the baseball cap because I like the look of a baseball cap, but I usually don't wear them because they don't provide enough protection for my problem areas, which are the 
upper lip area and the sides of my face. Well, together with this, it works. And while I'm on the topic of face coverings, I want to briefly mention that this could certainly be used as an acceptable face covering or mask during this pandemic. So whether you are wearing one like this or the more common face mask, it has double benefits, flattening the curve and UV protection. I hope you enjoyed this video and found my Amazon recommendations helpful. If so, please give it a thumbs up and share. Again, I will list the links for everything below. If you are watching my channel from a country outside of the US, I will put a link for Amazon Global, which provides information about products that can be sent to international destinations. If you have any Amazon purchase recommendations, please share it with all of us in the comment section below. Wishing you good health and thank you for taking the time to invest in your face. Bye.